all right here we go and uh welcome to my channel and uh, in this video i want to talk about how to be authentic how to be uh, you know how to be yourself i think you know this quality of being yourself is really a you know a lot of things uh, no, a lot of people think this is very uh you know important factor when it comes to you know being a success on anything right being successful on pretty much everything you want to have a youtube channel be yourself right you want to do a business uh do it in your own way whatever i don't think that's the case i think people do business they probably have a more of a you know different mindset but especially when it comes to like this kind of creative work i'm not even saying creative work i'm literally saying about you know if you want to do anything about really trying to be a selling point about your personality right i think like uh, being yourself being authentic and being uh you know having your own personality is really the thing that a lot of people talk about and uh i think i remember i watched one of those uh videos from another youtuber i forgot and there's a, a very famous and uh, no there, there's like a very memorable quote that he said about you know giving a lot of people like how to be yourself when you are in the social situation and how to really just you know be real you know in any source like you know streaming youtube instagram tiktok whatever right like that's the kind of like the social media way of doing that but like in generally speaking how to really be yourself in front of uh, people you know when you try to dating you know like when you're dating someone how to be you know, how to really show yourself to other people and you know especially when it comes to and also on in, in front of this camera how to be real on this camera as well because you know i've been doing youtube for you know for a year at this point and uh, i think i i never really bothered to look the first video that i was i never even bothered to go back to watch my first video that i ever made I still remember the first video that I was like literally trying to show my personality. It's like me complaining about uh I be, before that video I made like two videos where I was talking about uh Grand Theft Auto and the Red Dead Redemption. Some sounds like video essay form, and it didn't really show my personality. I was I was like scripting all the stuff. It it is a it was a very different format and then the third video that i made was like bro i made two video man it took me fucking two weeks to make it you know but not getting any, any views i was like super fucking uh depressed and i was like super angry and i just made a video where it's more like commentary i put out like a uh a game footage right about cyberpunk the 2077 and then i just you know voice over my own audio just purely talking without this camera like, like this you know like this so I made a those video. I made that one video like a uh, completely off the you know off the rail. Like I don't really, I didn't you know plan or I didn't have any script. I just kind of just saw the thing that I wanted. To, I really wanted to say and then just kind of press the record. And that was pretty much the first video that I have for you know quote unquote showing my own personality in front of the camera. And uh, I. I'd say I didn't bother to wa go back to watch that video. I, I went back a few, you know, uh, before making this video. No, actually, like a few few weeks ago, I guess. I only watched that one because, you know, around the road, there's like many, many different videos where I was talking about different kind of uh, topics on different things where, like, you know, eventually I ended up showing my face on this camera and I just felt like it was kind of, you know, it, it wasn't necessary, but I prefer to show my face because, uh, you know just the way i like do things you know i don't really care about my look i just you know you really ask this kind of visual side you know i think you it's way better compared to just giving another like a whatever the background game footage gameplay i don't want that you know i just want this like a actually you can see my uh, facial expression which is very oddly <laughs> you know so that's really what i wanted to do and i didn't really bother to go back to watch those videos but a lot of people in my comment section, a lot of like a long time uh, viewers, if I have any of those, right? And uh, they usually will comment on the things like, hey, bro, I've been watching you for like a couple of months. You, you've you been like, you know, getting better and better in front of the camera more and more natural. I was like, wow, thank you for that. Like, So that really led me to think about these questions. Like, so being natural is being yourself. Is that correct or not? What do you think? What do you think about that? What do you think like being natural in front of the camera or being natural with your friends or, or being authentic or being yourself or just, you know, showing your personality? And I think that is 50% uh, of true and 50% of false. 
So let me explain this. So the reason why I think that you need to have those like, uh, you know, you need to be natural in order to show your personality. It's not the other way around where it's not like this is the one only way to do it. Like oh, once you be natural and you can just show your personality like like naturally, automatically. I don't think that's how it works. Not just in front of the camera, also with your friends. You can be as natural as possible. Or you can just be not showing your personality because I think a lot of people nowadays is they really just over focusing on you know being authentic and being real with their friends, dating, doing social media. They think, oh, if you want to like you know uh, take a chance on this, you gotta be real. I say, like, how can you be real? It's more like a like the moment you start doing something that you actually genuinely passionate about, they're interested in. And that is the moment that you can attribute be yourself, right? That is the moment that you are being authentic because you're doing something that you're passionate about. For example, if we having this conversation, like if any of you will encounter me in real life, then we sit down and we talk about things like, you know, this kind of topic, right? How to be real, how to be, you know, how to be authentic. I will say, I will still say the same shit like this because I'm genuinely intrigued about this kind of topic. I'm not, I, I might not be the master of topic. Uh, I might not be the master of knowing this kind of things. I'm definitely not like some sort of a psychology or philosophers, but I am a average person that is very curious about, or like really wants to discuss things like this with, you know, with other people. Doesn't matter if they're my friends or not, because this is really what I do, you know, off the camera as well. If I have like, like talking to strangers or talking to, you know, the people from my work, I'll talk about shit like this. You know, we will argue, we will like really discuss because this is, you, you like, you gotta really know there's a reason why I posting like this kind of talking head video, like just purely me yapping all this shit because, you know, you can tell how fucking obsessed that I am for like just yapping in front of the camera or just talking gen in general because I genuinely believe the like this is what I do when I'm not making a YouTube channel, when I'm not making a YouTube video, I will still find a you know a way or in you know the other try to you know interact with other people, try to really just talk about a lot because I this is what I love, this is what I fucking love, you know, and uh, that's really what I think about being yourself. Sure, you can say yeah, you know, in front of this camera, you know, being you know on this kind of sad, you know, just myself, a little sad, like you know, being in my bedroom. And uh, you know, the, talking to to this land and having this microphone here, and staring at this and talking to every day twenty minutes, it really helps for sure. It really helps me to get very comfortable on here. I'm I'm, I'm not gonna say hundred percent comfortable because uh, there's still a lot of you know mindset that I need to work on. I really wish one day that I can be fully comfortable, right? Because that can really just make the whole experience for the people who are watching, for the people who are listening, so better compared to if I'm just a little bit, uh, you know, uh, you know, anxious, something like that, right? And I think that's, that is just being natural, right? I just get a progress of being natural, but how do you actually be yourself? Just do the thing that you love to do. I mean, you know, there's like a lot of YouTube channels, there's a lot of people with different personalities and there's a lot of different people do different shit, right? They all enjoy it. And I think that is the, you know, that is the really, you know, what, what, what it means to be authentic or real. It's not really just be natural. Be natural is not enough. You got to constantly do things that you genuinely think that you enjoy. You might not even know after like, you know, who knows after like maybe just a couple of years later, I just find out the fuck, what, what, what am I doing here? Right? I don't know, but I enjoy things that I'm doing now in this moment. And that is where that you can do the best you can for yourself to be authentic or being real with your friends or with, you know, social situation or just doing, you know, things like this as well. And I think that is real, but that is being real. That is not being natural, you know, because I, I experienced this. Oh yeah. That is a great point that I want to make, which is, uh, you know, every time when I'm working, like the first time I met a new student, I'm passionate about talking or just, you know, teaching how they learn language, right? So I 
I sit down, I talk to them. I, we don't know each other. I, I was also so, socially awkward. I'm, you know, I'm an introvert. And, but every time when this whole class in the, like the first two minutes, it was, it's, it was like so fucking awkward, right? Because, you know, they didn't know me. I didn't know them. But once I started to really get into this, like, uh, you know, how do you actually learn it? I repeat the same shit that I talk about in here when it comes to language learning. That like every time I talk about language learning, that's that's the same thing. The, that's the same way I talk to you right now about language learning to to my students. And once I start doing that, I just kind of ignore all this like unnatural and the awkward moments because I really just get into that kind of flow where I just like doing the thing that I love doing. Genuinely try to help them. You know, genuinely just try to tell them, hey, this is how you do it, man. Like once I start doing that, once I start talking about that, they just felt relaxed. They felt, you know, oh my God, this shit is such, you know, and I feel also very natural and it's probably not as natural as like, you know, talking to, to, you know, on, on YouTube or talking to my friends, but it is definitely like, uh, it, it, it works, you know, it works. That's what I was trying to say. It works. And I think that is. You know, that is the most important part that you got to realize. You, you don't have to be natural when it comes to everything because being natural takes time. But don't, but definitely don't like, you know, misunderstand like the difference between being natural and, uh, you know, being like authentic or being real. Be, be, in order to be real, you cannot just be yourself. But I just want to be real in front of you. Like, how do I be real? I just, as, you know, what I'm being real is like, I just want to sit there. I don't want to do anything. You know, this is me being real. But this is me being passionate about talking about something that I genuinely want to talk about. And that is when you combine those two, you know, you get a, you know, you get the personality that you want to have. I, I guess that's, I think that's how it works. I might be totally wrong here, but, uh, you know, who knows, right? And yeah, this is the video. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, I'll see you in the next one.